Core track line belts. I have been wearing these ratchet style belts now for years. I had initially seen them, the kind of the style of these on TV, and I always thought that is one of those as seen on TV gimmicky junk things, and I will never get one of those ratchet belts because they've, they've gotta be junk, right? They're those TV things. And then I decided to try one, and wow, I can tell you since I have started wearing these, if you've not seen some of my other videos on these, I have not worn a regular belt, regular old school with holes belt, since I started wearing these ratchet styles belts because these things have several advantages. First, if you're not familiar with the way these work, on the back here there is this track, the track line as Cora calls it. And the buckle has this little piece here and it moves through that track in a ratchet style mechanism. And because of that, they're infinitely adjustable in quarter inch increments. And then also because the adjustment is back here, there's no holes on the front. So in the old school belts, you would, for the most part, always go in the same hole. That hole would eventually get stretched out. The belt would maybe stretch a little bit. These belts don't wear like that because all the adjustment is in the back here on the back and this hard plastic part doesn't wear. So that being said, I've had several core belts now for years and they make several different kinds of belts. They make tactical nylon kind of gun belts. They make leather gun belts. And then they also make fashion belts that are not reinforced. They're not meant to carry the load of a gun. And these belts have been great. However, they took them and they improved them with the new Core 2.0 gun belts. And I just want to go over some of the improvements that they've done with them. So let me get my old school ones out of the way and let's bring in some of the new things. Here's a new gray nylon tactical belt that I have. These belts come in several colors, black, tan, green, and gray. So they've improved these belts in several ways. First, the buckle, they've designed new buckles. The buckles have a deeper receptacle and on the back here, there are now set screws. The older style buckles didn't have any screws on them and I never had the problems with them coming out, but the newer ones are now extra reinforced because the way they work is you put the belt in here, these teeth right here sink into the belt and then you tighten these screws down with the included Allen wrench and that is going to make these screws have these little teeth in the inside here and those fix onto the belt and the belt is not coming out. Again, I, I never had problems before, but you're extra not going to have problems with the new buckles. Now, aside from upgrading the buckle, they have also upgraded the core of these belts, core as it were for the core belts. But I'll talk about the design of these belts in a minute with the inner and the outer stuff. But this part right in the center here that you can see between the layers is what they call the power core. And they apparently took them two years to design the new power core. Now these belts, the old ones, they're comfortable. The old tactical belt for me was honestly a little bit stiff and the old leather belt for me was perfect. The new one, this is a new of their tactical belt with the new power core center and it is noticeably more comfortable. I immediately got it. I've had this one for, for several years, like I said. It's always been really stiff, so great for holding a lot of weight. But the newer one, they've maintained the ability to hold that weight, but it is noticeably more pliable, more comfortable, more flexible. Now, as I mentioned, they make two different styles of belts. They make a nylon tactical gun belt and they make leather gun belts, aside from their fashion belts. The nylon belts, let me talk about these first. Like I said, they come in four colors, black, tan, green, and this is the gray. And on the outside, they use a nylon web outer layer, which is super tough. And then on the inside, they have what they call super fiber layer, which helps with water protection. You can tell it feels like it's water resistant. So if you sweat, it's not going to absorb into the belt there. The tactical nylon gun belts are rated to 10 pounds and the waist sizes go from 24 to 54 inches. And I'll show you how you size them in just a minute. The leather gun belts come in black, brown, and tan. These are made of two full length pieces of top grain leather, one on the outside and one on the inside. And on the inside, the, the center, there's that power core. The leather belts come as small as 22 inches and go up to 44 inches. And then there's an XL that will go up to 54 inches. Now this leather belt that I have is unsized. This is how they come. They come with the belt and then they come with the buckle and they come with an Allen wrench and they also come with a little bag. Now you take this on the inside here, you can see there are sizes, inch markings, 32, 33, 34, 35, up to 44 on this one. So the way they suggest it is to take your waist size, which mine is 32 inches, and they recommend cutting four inches larger. So cut this to a 36 inch, because if you cut it too short, obviously you're stuck. So better to cut it long and then size it down from there. For me, I have found out that I can cut it two inches longer. So I always cut them to a 34, but I recommend if you don't have one of these, 
cut it to four inches longer to start with. So you take a pair of heavy duty scissors, my Leatherman Raptors in this case, and you cut it to that 34 inches for me. And you get that. The nylon ones, you'll be left with some extra nylon pieces hanging out there. You can take that and kind of melt them down so there's no little extra dangly pieces. But the leather ones, obviously, you don't have that problem. So you insert the belt into this, and you want to make sure it is way back in there. Because if it's too far up, you'll have problems getting these screws, and the screws will go all the way down in there. So you make sure it's way seated, way back in there. And then, bite the teeth down. Take the Allen wrench that's included, and you screw these little Allen wrench screws down, and that will lock these screws into the belt. And that's it, belt to size. It takes just a few minutes to get the belt to the size you need it to. And then you're good to wear it. Now one of the other differences with these belts is that the leather belts are made to support up to medium weight guns, up to six pounds. And the tactical nylon belts are made to support up to 10 pounds. Another thing you can see the different buckles. There are several different buckles you can choose for these belts. The buckles are all interchangeable. So if you had one buckle and four belts, you could just move between them if you wanted. One of the other things I realized can happen is that the leather belts, when you wear them, they tend to sit pretty flush like that, no problems. But these nylon belts, they can sometimes stick out a little bit when you're wearing them. So they now include a little keeper and you put this on and you wrap that around there. And that way when you're wearing it, that's not gonna stick out. Some other accessories you can get for these is they have these little holders that you can hold them in your closet. And the way that this works, is that you hang this in your closet on the hook and you just ratchet that onto there and then you can hang the belts up in your closet. Now of note, as I mentioned, they do make both gun belts. The gun belts are an inch and a half wide and they make also fashion belts. They do make fashion belts that look somewhat like the gun belts. So this is a nylon belt, not a gun belt, not made to be used with a gun. It does not have their newer reinforced buckle. The fashion belts are also an inch and three eighths instead of an inch and a half, so be careful not to confuse the two. But lots of options for these belts. The newer ones, like I said, are noticeably more comfortable. So if you have an older one, you might consider upgrading to one of these newer ones with the new power core center because they are noticeably more comfortable. Now for general use, I wear these all the time. The leather belts, I've been wearing as dress belts and I've not worn, like I said, a regular dress belt because these are comfortable. They're not stiff enough that you would even know that they're made to be a gun belt because they just feel like a regular other belt, maybe just slightly stronger. But I wear them and I, you can't tell the difference. The nylon belts, also super comfortable. I wear these for work all the time. And I've worn both of these with gun and holster and no problem with it carrying the weight and drawing it. And then during the day, your waist size maybe fluctuates a little bit and you just take it and you move it in a, a notch, quarter inch. These things will adjust to over 40 different lengths. Overall, if you have not checked out the core belts, these ratchet style belts, you owe it to yourself to pick one of these up because once you start wearing these, you will not go back to regular belts. I, I, I can almost guarantee it. So check these out. The core new and improved 2.0 gun belts.